All right, let's get you an exclusive conversation from the sidelines of the Mobile World Congress 2024. My colleague Reema caught up with Vijay Anand Guntur, who is the President of Engineering and R&D Services at HCL Technology and spoke about a whole host of topics like private 5G adoption, generative AI and engineering in the R&D business. Listen in to excerpts of that conversation. Private 5G is, uh, adoption is growing and we can see that uh, in adoption in manufacturing as an industry segment. Uh, we also see a lot more greenfield industry implementations of private 5G. Uh, we see that uh, there is more adoption and there's a bigger ecosystem that is playing to create this impact with private 5G adoption in the market. And uh, I think there are platform players, there are startups, and there are lots of people who are creating impact uh, in the adoption space. Can you give an example of one of your customers where they are leveraging private 5G network? And is it still largely to do with manufacturing or other sectors and industries also adopting private 5G? Yes, there are many other sectors adopting beyond uh, manufacturing as well. Uh, we see adoption in uh, airports uh, to be one use case uh, where uh, we have done some proof of concepts. Can you talk about it? A little bit, yes. Uh, we have seen uh, the data when an aircraft uh, comes into an airport, the amount of data that needs to be downloaded and analyzed, uh, that's growing in size. So that's a good use case uh, for private 5G. Uh, we have seen uh, another use case uh, for private 5G in mining, uh, where worker safety is important, and uh, we are working with uh, one of our customers in that space. Okay. What about generative AI? That's the new buzzword. How are you incorporating generative AI? And now when you talk to customers, this MWC versus the previous one, what's the difference? I think generative AI has become very real. When we were there last time, it was a technology play. Today it is becoming a real business uh, impacting uh, play. We are seeing uh, horizontal use cases, which are across uh, multiple streams, as you would expect in marketing, in customer support, in engineering, uh, and now we are seeing also specific uh, vertical use cases that are coming, which is early days. Uh, the POCs have been there for quite some time. Now we see POCs getting into production. Tell us about some of the POCs where they've now moved into production. Just to you know, explain it to a customer who doesn't understand. Okay, um, one of the POCs uh, that's gotten into production is around uh, a company that wants to improve their software engineering productivity. and. Uh, they are deploying some tech that we have built together in this space uh, to create a higher level of uh, software productivity as well as reduce the time to market of products that they are building using this. And we are also doing uh, generative AI induced products uh, in our HCL software business where in the product itself there is AI that can be used by end customers. So for that you know, uh, concept that you were telling us about, uh, that particular client, how much has the productivity gone up? By how much has the time to market come down? So it's a wide range, and uh, we believe that there is at least a 10 to 15% productivity uplift after you account for all the costs required to be able to generate that uh, level of productivity. Excellent. Uh, and just one word on the ERD business. Now, ERD business is doing well. So, last year, even if you exclude the contribution from the ASAP acquisition, I think on an organic basis, ERD still grew about 2.5% on a quarter on quarter basis. This is on top of the 1.6% that you had in the previous quarter. What's the outlook on ERD? Is this kind of you know 2 to 3% run rate sustainable? We think uh, there is uh, still a cautious optimism in the market. Uh, in terms of uh, ERD spend because we are very diversified. We think we have opportunity for us to continue to grow. Will ERD do better next year, FI25 versus this year? We'll see. We have uh, some deal pipelines in the making and uh, that should tell us how we will do next year. Interesting conversation there. Uh, this at the Mobile World Conference in Barcelona. Take a short break, come back and we move away from the IT pack 